In a major ruling, France's highest constitutional court has approved proposals by President Emmanuel Macron to raise the minimum pension age from 62 to 64. This significant ruling means the government can implement Macron's unpopular plans as early as next week, with the changes coming into effect before the end of this year. The move has been met with strong opposition from trade unions, with public opinion polls showing that two-thirds of the French public are against the pension age increases. Street protests, often ending in clashes with police, have been going on for the past three months, with no end in sight yet. Despite upholding Macron's pension changes, the council ruled against some of the government's other measures, which were designed to encourage employment among older workers, but were deemed to be out of place in the Social Security budget bill. The government now has two weeks to implement the new law. Opposition politicians have called on the government to abandon the pension increase plans, while Macron has insisted that he will not be swayed by street protests. Police forces have been placed on high alert in anticipation of more demonstrations this weekend. While the court ruling has served to end the discussion on one element of the pension system, there still remain questions over broader social welfare issues. France's population is aging and there have been calls from politicians to safeguard public services. However, Macron's government believes that increasing the minimum eligible pension age is necessary to protect the health of the pension system as a whole. Meanwhile, some lawyers have criticized the government for its heavy-handed approach to policing the protests, while Laurent Berger of the CFDT union has argued that the bill should be discussed more thoroughly by the French parliament. The impact of Macron's plans remains to be seen, but the past months of protest have shown a light on the widespread anger against the president and his centrists. It is uncertain how Macron will address the crisis of confidence in politics and win back the support of the French public.